Good morning, Staff Service Award recipients, other awardees, and guests. My name is Nancy Torres, and I am the Associate Vice President for Human Resource Management. It is my pleasure to serve as your MC for this year's 2020 and 2021 Staff Service Awards and Recognition virtual event. Last year, when we postponed the 2020 event due to the pandemic, we had no way to forecast how long the situation would last. We had to reimagine our campus events such as commencement and our staff awards. The pandemic may have slowed us down, but it wasn't gonna stop us. Come on, we're the beach. Because the pandemic persisted, we wanted to ensure we could honor our staff's milestones with a virtual event. So today, we are recognizing our staff who not only reached these milestones in 2019, but those who reached their service year milestones in 2020. For our honorees who waited patiently for this postponed celebration, we thank you. Today, we are celebrating our staff, staff who serve our students and campus in a variety of ways. Campus safety, cashiers, facilities services, presidential staff, academic advisors, support coordinators, HR staff, technology experts, and the list goes on. In your unique ways, you all directly influence the education of our students, and we are thankful for your service to the beach community. This morning, we celebrate 312 staff members who have served Cal State Long Beach for many years, from 10 to 50 years of service. This is a total of 5,675 years of service. This is a staggering number. Your dedication to this university and our students is unparalleled. You are all instrumental to this campus, and I am proud to serve with you. As you might have noticed, things are a little different this year. Let me explain how the program will proceed. This year, we are recognizing all staff award milestones by division and auxiliary area, one area at a time. You will hear from our campus executives in each divisional area and from our auxiliaries to share personal reflections and to congratulate the service award recipients in their area. Awardees with 10 to 50 years of service will be showcased with names, photos, and with their special memories of the campus. We are also highlighting our staff recognition awards, including the Staff Council Outstanding Staff Award, Employees of the Month, and Presidential Awards for Employees of the Year, and Team Achievement Award. As we are not celebrating in person, Human Resources will contact you soon regarding your certificate and picking up your awards. At this time, I would like to welcome the president of our university, Dr. Jane Close Conley. Thank you, Nancy, and hello, everyone. I'm so pleased to welcome you to one of my favorite events of the year, our Staff Service Awards and Recognition Celebration. I'd like to begin by extending a very special welcome, along with my deepest thanks to all the staff members who are celebrating service milestones. Congratulations on this tremendous accomplishment. Like all of you, I miss being able to do this in person, but there are some advantages to gathering in the virtual space. Most notably, there are no capacity restrictions, and I'm thrilled that this year we're able to accommodate all of those who'd like to participate. But no food, sad. On that note, I'd add that after such an extraordinary 16 months, it's particularly meaningful and moving to have the opportunity to celebrate the important and irreplaceable contributions our staff make to Cal State Long Beach each and every day. Much has been asked of university employees during this period, and you stepped up countless times and in the most determined and creative ways to ensure that your fellow employees, faculty, students, and community members had the help, support, and resources they needed. Because of you, the beach has remained open and operating throughout this public health crisis. Allow me to share just a few examples. You maintained and secured our beautiful grounds. You repaired buildings and equipment and saw to the infrastructure improvements continued moving along. You took on new duties when doing so made it possible to decrease population density on campus, which in turn reduced transmission related risks and allowed more vulnerable colleagues to work remotely. You answered innumerable questions and helped tens of thousands of students navigate a virtual college experience. 
you supported the restructuring of thousands of courses and helped faculty retool their instructional methods almost overnight. And those of you who could even took your support of our educational mission to the next level by contributing to our Student Emergency Fund, which provided a lifeline to struggling students and or by volunteering for the new Beach Guide Program, which provided online mentoring to 2,500 students this fall. Most important, you cared for and helped one another along the way. That to me is what it truly means to be one beach. I cannot be more proud or more grateful to be part of such a remarkable community. Today, we are delighted to recognize staff members who reached service milestones in both 2019 and 2020. Our 132 honorees for 2019 and our 180 honorees for 2020 represent every division and auxiliary on campus with service ranging from 10 to 50 years. This amounts to a combined 2,445 years of service for our 2019 honorees and 3,230 years of service for our 2020 honorees. This year, I also have the privilege of honoring a member of the President's Office staff who is celebrating her 10-year anniversary, as well as one of my own direct reports who is celebrating his 15th year anniversary. As I reflect on their service, I am impressed and inspired anew, and I'd like to take a moment to thank and recognize the entire team in the Office of the President. Like so many of you, they have gone above and beyond during this very difficult time. And again, like many of you, they tend to keep a low profile and are quick to credit others, but they are, without a doubt, indispensable. The work they did allowed me to focus on the very complex and weighty issues we've faced as a campus and community, helped me stay connected with stakeholders even while socially distanced, and provided the kind of mission-minded support I needed to lead effectively during a once-in-a-century global pandemic. Those of you who have had occasion to interact with some or all of them know what I'm talking about. My sincere thanks go out to my Chief of Staff, Neil Schnoor, Deputy Chief of Staff, Colleen Followell, Project Specialist, Carol Menard, Administrative Coordinator, Andrea Graham, Fiscal Analyst, Cindy Angeli, President's Ambassador Coordinator, Rosalinda Oliva, Event Coordinator, Barbie McRae, and last but not least, our 10-year honoree, Jennifer Wright. Jennifer has spent a lot more time on the campus than her service milestone might indicate. She's a proud beach grad, and she actually worked in the parking office, handling events, payroll, and accounts receivable from 2000 to 2007. She returned to campus in 2010, and she's been serving in her current capacity, executive scheduler and event planner, or as I call her, my scheduling genius, for the past six years. This is a complex job, as you can imagine, and I am extremely fortunate to have someone with Jennifer's knowledge, skills, integrity, and commitment to excellence in this role. Thank you, Jennifer, for all you do, and congratulations on reaching the service milestone. Scott Appel is a two-time Beach grad and has served as Vice President of Administration and Finance and Chief Financial Officer since 2018. He serves on my executive team, and his responsibilities include financial management, physical planning and facilities management, human resources, the campus police service, and the Research Foundation. I am fortunate to be able to rely on Scott's leadership, his thorough and thoughtful analyses, and his recommendations, and of course, his quirky sense of humor, which has helped see me through more than a few long days. Thank you, Scott for your 15 years of service. To all of our honorees, your persistence, resolve, flexibility, and unwavering dedication to the beach, even under the most trying circumstances, has made both the physical and virtual campus a better place to learn, teach, work, create, visit, and live. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your loyal service to the beach is noticed and deeply appreciated. 
We have accomplished a great deal over these challenging months, and we are well positioned to meet the challenges that lie ahead because of your hard work and dedication. Congratulations once again to our awardees, and special thanks to all of you who came out to support them today. Thank you, President Conley. Now please welcome our soon-to-be-retired Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Brian Jersky. Thank you for the invitation to make a few remarks for our very important Staff Service Award Ceremony. I appreciate the opportunity to spend a few moments here with you to express my sincere gratitude to you, the hardworking staff here on our campus. Every day, you make a difference, especially in the lives of our students. Over the past year, our campus has not only survived, but thrived because of your hard work, dedication, and ability to adapt to new circumstances. I know this has not been without its challenges, but our collective work has effectively helped educate the next generation of business leaders, educators, scientists, and artists. I know I'm speaking to many of you today in your kitchens, offices, dining room tables, or bedrooms. Most of us have mastered the all-important mute button on Zoom. You've probably figured out somewhat when your professional job ends and when your personal life begins. And I know that this delicate balance often seems blurry. One thing that remains constant is that our campus would not run as effectively if we did not have such amazing staff. At the end of the day, when students are excelling in their programs and finishing their degrees so they can follow their dreams, our collective purpose is accomplished. A large part of that success is because of all of you in this virtual room. Just to give you an idea of the amount of experience represented here today, for those service year milestones reached in 2019, we have over 1,090 cumulative years of service for academic affairs alone. For those service year milestones reached in 2020, over 1,345 cumulative years of service in academic affairs. And this combined 2,435 years of service represent thousands of CSULB graduates, all contributing to our top graduation rates among all CSU campuses. You, in essence, make it possible for our students to achieve their goals. On behalf of everyone in academic affairs, congratulations on your milestone achievements and go Beach!
Thank you, Provost Jerski. It's always great to hear from you. I would now like to invite Scott Appel, Vice President of Administration and Finance, to the screen. Hello, I'm Scott Appel, Vice President for Administration and Finance. The Staff Service Awards are my second favorite event on campus after graduation. They are an opportunity to recognize our indispensable university staff and auxiliary employees. Today, we will be recognizing two years worth of awardees after having to cancel last year's event due to the pandemic. As a university, we have faced our greatest challenges in organizational history during this time. Not surprisingly, our faculty and staff rose to the occasion, overcame every conceivable challenge, and educated our largest number of students ever. I'm incredibly proud to be part of this organization and to be affiliated with the outstanding staff that make our mission possible. The Division of Administration and Finance is filled with incredibly talented experts working hard every day, doing the things necessary for our campus community to thrive under any circumstances. The amount of work they accomplish is truly amazing. I've often heard people referring to the campus as a small city, but in actuality, we're a pretty big city. By my estimation, we serve more community members than Rancho Santa Margarita, Antelope Valley, Palm Springs, and San Luis Obispo. We provide all of the functions those cities provide and help produce the future leaders of our state at the same time. All the people that make Long Beach State University possible have a lot for which to be proud. Today, we honor DAF employees with anywhere from 10 to 35 years of service. These dedicated employees represent over 1,360 years of service to the university. It's just remarkable. Let's put this in perspective. When Al Vaca from BBS and Brett Frawley from Parking Operations and other 30 Years of Service awardees were hired, the movie Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade was released. Why is this movie significant? Of course, our alumnus Steven Spielberg produced that movie. In 1990, when Chief of Police Fernando Solorzano and other 30 Year awardees were hired, the Japanese Garden had just been established. Of course, Fernando was not new to the campus. He had been a Long Beach State student and graduated that year. This was a year of another momentous occasion. A fresh-faced young psychology student attended his first classes here as well. And that student would be me. In 1994, when Mark Farrell and BBS and other 25-year recipients started working, Bob Maxson became the fifth president of Long Beach State University. Many of you remember President Maxson. He popularized the phrase, Go Beach. He also helped me bring back the CSULB sweater vest into style. In 1994, when Karen Webb from Financial Management and other 20-year awardees started work, we had a little over 1,000 staff members on this campus. We now have more than twice that many. The past year has not been an easy one for any of us. But since we had to go through the experience anyway, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to do it with all of you. So congratulations, awardees, and go Beach.
Thank you, Scott. Now, please welcome Miles Nevin, Executive Director, Associated Students, Inc. Hi, I'm Miles Nevin, Executive Director of the Associated Students. I want to congratulate all the Service Award honorees and add a very special thank you to the 10 ASI honorees I have the privilege of working with every day. They work in all areas of our organization, ASI Beach Pantry, Conference and Events, Isabel Patterson Child Development Center, Student Recreation and Wellness Center, and the Student Union. They are running large departments, delivering high quality programs, facilitating student wellness, and maintaining our buildings. They are critical to ASI's mission, and they serve our students as trusted colleagues, advisors, mentors, and teachers. Together, these 10 members of the ASI family are celebrating 160 years of service to our students. That's 160 years of promoting students' intellectual, social, and physical development. Thank you to all of you. Congratulations, and go Beach! Thank you, Miles. Now, Beach Nation, let's welcome Andy Fee, Executive Director of Athletics. Our goal at Beach Athletics is to deliver the best possible experience for our student athletes in the classroom and on the field of competition. Today, it is my pleasure to celebrate two very special members of our Beach family who have always gone the extra mile. I am inspired by your service and your selfless investment and focus over the years in our student athletes, coaches, and staff. As we work to cultivate leaders and champions, none of this would be possible without you. With 40 years of experience combined between our two honorees, it is no wonder that the beach continues to thrive and win championships. Our campus has a rich tradition of success and accomplishment. In 1995, we saw Gabe Gonzalez, Jeff Liefer, Marcus Jones, and Rocky Biddle who all played for our dirtbags and in the College World Series get drafted by Major League Baseball teams. Continuing to grow and shine, in 2005 we saw Long Beach State officially rename the pyramid to the Walter Pyramid in honor of Mike and Arlene Walter. The Walters were given this recognition for a $2.1 million donation given to the university. In addition to being the Vice President of Levi Strauss and Company, Mike Walter was also a Dean for Long Beach State's College of Business Administration from 1993 to 2000. Our department has seen significant growth in its resources and athletic facilities since you arrived on campus. From numerous postseason NCAA appearances and hundreds of victories to coordinating the admission of the very best student athletes to our university, there is no doubt you thrived and made our campus a special place to call home. This past year alone, you have adapted and overcome countless obstacles in a world of uncertainty and been examples for our department to find creative and unique solutions to new challenges. You have never been satisfied with the status quo. You both have exceeded expectations and grown your areas in ways that have improved the lives of so many. I am honored to serve as your athletics director and want to congratulate you both on amazing careers on this very special day. Thank you, Andy. I would now like to welcome Robert DeWitt, 49er Shops General Manager and CEO. Hello, everyone. I'm Robert DeWitt, the General Manager of the 49er Shops. It's my honor to be here and recognize some of our long-term employees and celebrate their dedication and success over the years in support of both the shops and the university. As a commercial auxiliary of CSULB, not everyone is aware of our mission and the variety of services that the shops provide to the campus at large. The 49er Shops mission is to enhance and support the educational process of California State University Long Beach by providing the goods and services to promote a learning community 
by training student employees with life career skills, and by funding scholarships, internships, and other programs that promote student success. I'm proud to say that although we've had major business setbacks and challenges handed to us by the pandemic, we've continued to fulfill our mission, but on a limited scale. This effort was led by some of the individuals we celebrate today. The employees that are represented have service years that range from 10 to 35 years and comprise about a third of the shop's full-time staff. Although the campus moved towards distance learning this past year, these individuals, along with their colleagues, were classified as campus essential employees during this pandemic. As such, they physically reported to campus on a daily basis throughout the year to meet student and staff needs. Their roles and responsibilities as frontline workers allowed the shops to remain open for most of the year and continue to provide products and services in the area of textbooks, computer equipment, dining, and ID card services. In addition, this allowed for limited campus donations and job opportunity for students. I'm especially impressed with the employees we honor today. Their perseverance and dedication has been a mainstay for the shops during these times of adversity from both a financial and employee health perspective. Those challenges, along with reduced staffing, required an increased level of dedication from these employees for the shops to remain solvent and relevant to the campus. The shop's success is measured by employee determination and their application to the tasks at hand as we seek to get back to supporting our mission for a full and robust campus. Thanks to the dedication of those we celebrate today, we are optimistic and looking forward to a brighter future for all. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Let's welcome Min Yao, Vice President and Chief Information Officer, who will recognize honorees from the Division of Information Technology. Hello, everyone. Today, we gathered here online to celebrate the long years of service of our colleagues. In the Division of IT, some of our colleagues reached the milestone of 10, 15, and 20 years of service by the end of 2019. Then, by the end of 2020, Another 14 of our colleagues achieved the milestone of 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, and even more than 40 years of service. A lot of new technologies have come to the market since these colleagues joined the university. For example, when Sherry Perkins joined the university in 1985, Microsoft released the first version of a Windows operating system. Bill Gates intended to use this new Windows operating system to replace the old DOS operating system. However, the Windows operating system was buggy. As a result, most people still preferred the old DOS operating system. It took a long time for the Windows operating system to mature and evolve to be what is known today as Windows 10. Fast forwarding to the year of 1999, when Ryan Tapp and Alan Kylock joined the university, the Y2K bug was a big threat to the world. Everything powered by technology might go wrong in the year 2000, because many information systems couldn't accept a date beyond the year 2000. 1999 was a busy year for IT folks to fix all the Y2K bugs. In the end, all the Y2K bugs were found and fixed. The world was safe again. Today, the pace of technology change has become faster and faster. Almost every day, there is some new technology coming to the market. We need to learn constantly to keep in pace with the new technologies and select 
the best suitable technologies for students, faculty, and staff. I congratulate our colleagues for achieving the long service awards today. I thank you for your loyalty to the university and your dedication to our students, faculty, and staff. It is your dedication and the great work that made our university the top choice for many California high school graduates. It is also your excellent service that made our campus a technology-enhanced work environment for our faculty and staff. Thank you, and go Beach! Thank you, Min. I would now like to welcome Dr. Beth Lesson, Vice President of Student Affairs, our newest member of the executive team, to the screen. Good morning, Student Affairs. I am so honored to be able to recognize your service today, truly. We spend so much of our time at work, and we pour so much of ourselves into what we do. You made a commitment to this university, and you've invested yourself in this community, and today is about telling you how grateful we are. And we are so very grateful for that investment and that commitment. Of course, I'm biased, but I think student affairs is such a special career path. We get to be so many things to so many people, and the relationships we create are so rich and meaningful. We don't manufacture or sell things. We educate, we inspire, we support, we empower. We build futures, uplift families, and change generations. We're in the business of helping people make dreams come true. That's what you've helped to do every single day in your years here at Long Beach State and what you continue to do today. Together, you represent 630 years of service. 630 years, that's staggering. I think about how many students have earned their degrees and launched successful careers because of you and your work. I think about all the colleagues you've taught and mentored along the way. You've made such an important impact, and I truly hope you're feeling proud of that. My start at Long Beach has been unusual, and I've gotten to know many of you through a computer screen. But let me tell you that even in these bizarre circumstances, you shine so brilliantly. Your kindness and competence and your authenticity and your senses of humor are as clear as if I were standing right next to you, which I hope to do very soon. I know with certainty that you are the heart of this university, and every time you help a student or a colleague or make something work or shine, you've built Cal State Long Beach and made it more special. So congratulations on this milestone. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for choosing to make the beach your home and for making it a home for so many others. Thank you, Beth. Now, please welcome Dr. Brian Nolan, Chief Operating Officer of the Research Foundation. Hi, I'm Brian Nolan, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Research Foundation. For those of you who are not familiar with us, we administer research programs here at the beach. The Research Foundation is an integral part of the Long Beach campus. We exist to enhance and advance the educational mission of CSULB. 
One of the many responsibilities of the Research Foundation is to provide administrative and support services to programs sponsored by federal, state, local, and private funding used for faculty research projects and training programs. One such program that we are incredibly proud of is the BUILD program. This program offers intensive hands-on research and training opportunities for undergraduate students designed to prepare them to excel in doctoral programs as well as health-related research careers. It is one of only 10 similar programs in the United States. This externally sponsored research allows faculty, staff, and students to engage in nationally recognized scholarly endeavors and is a cornerstone of CSULB's academic excellence. Some of the services provided by the Research Foundation include financial services in the form of accounts payable, accounts receivable, travel, procurement, asset management, audit, banking, cashiering, and financial reporting. We also provide human resources, payroll, and employee benefit services to around 1,500 individuals annually. Some of these employees work on the front lines within the programs we administer, while others work behind the scenes. Today we are here to thank eight of those employees who have achieved milestone anniversaries with the Research Foundation. Together, this group of service honorees have a collective 160 years of service to our campus community. In this group, the employee with the most years of service is Joanna Abel, who has served as a cashier for us for over 35 years. When Joanna started in 1985, Steve Horn was president of our campus. We were watching Back to the Future in movie theaters and The Cosby Show on TV, How Time Flies. Thank you to all of today's honorees and to all of our employees who work every day to support student success here at the beach. Thank you, Brian. Finally, I'd like to invite Michelle Cheska, Vice President of University Relations and Development, to the screen. Hi there, I'm Michelle Cheska, Vice President for University Relations and Development, better known as URD, and I'm thrilled to be with you today, even if it is virtually. One of the reasons I'm so happy to be a part of this is because it gives me the opportunity to recognize the very people who help make the teaching, learning and living on our campus a reality. All Beach employees are dedicated to the service and transformation of our students, and faculty and staff work together to make that a reality. Notably, our staff members have worked tirelessly, particularly throughout the pandemic and lockdown, to ensure our campus was thoroughly cleaned, protected, open and operating. It's no small feat, even during normal times. But throughout this last year, many have gone the extra mile, and then some, to make sure things like remote learning and working could occur, that project deadlines would still be met, and that colleagues would be helped as the pandemic swirled around all of us. To all of you, I am grateful that you hung in there, were flexible and adaptable, and for what you did to redefine the term team player. I especially want to thank the URD team members who plowed on through all the challenges the pandemic handed us. Despite all of the restrictions and obstacles, the URD folks still got out there and connected with alumni and other donors on behalf of the beach, even if it was via Zoom or behind a mask and at least six feet away. They organized the upcoming commencements and other events, worked with members of various boards, coordinated with the foundation, handled media inquiries and kept the website up and running, and a million other jobs and tasks I don't have time to mention here. Thank you all. And now I'm thrilled to be recognizing five staff service honorees from URD. Janet Romain for 35 years of service, Lori Evans for 25, and Fred Camba, Elise Brown, and Howie Fitzgerald for 10. Thank you all for your years of dedication and exemplary service. Finally, I want to thank everyone who works to make the beach so phenomenal. Our campus is a unique, welcoming, and inclusive workplace that is driven by creative, caring, and committed people like all of you. Go Beach!
Thank you, Michelle. Now we have a brief video capturing photos of our service award honorees who are highlighting what CSULB means to them. President Connolly will now return to showcase our Staff Council Outstanding Staff Awards for 2020 and 2021. Employees of the Month from 2019 and 2020, the President's Award for Employees of the Year in four categories, Student Success, Innovation, Leadership, and Inclusive Excellence, and the Team Achievement Award. It's no secret that staff play an essential part in helping CSULB faculty students and administrators reach their ambitious goals. You might not always see a direct impact, but without a doubt, the work you do is closely tied to our institutional mission, and your contributions are noticed. Every spring semester, Staff Council solicits nominations for the Staff Council Outstanding Staff Award for a staff member who makes significant contributions of their time and talents, including a demonstrated record of volunteer service to the campus community. The People's Choice winners are selected by a panel of staff and other designees. Congratulations to the Staff Council Outstanding Staff Member of the Year 2020 Pedro Castro. Pedro works in the Dean's Office at the College of the Arts, serves on staff council on the CLGBTIQ plus CC committee, and as a safe zone and AB 540 ally for CSULB and LA County. Pedro's colleagues praise his work ethic, determination, decision-making, team spirit, and adaptability to change, an ultimate can-do attitude. The Staff Council Outstanding Staff Member of the Year Award winner for 2021 is John Chillick, who serves as the Department Coordinator in Family and Consumer Sciences. John is being recognized for his problem-solving skills, positive attitude, continuous departmental improvements, and the ability to make others feel welcome and appreciated. He also guest lectures, participates on search committees, 
volunteers at commencement, and as a building marshal, and serves on staff council and CSUEU, his volunteerism extends beyond the beach to community organizations such as the Long Beach 7th Street Food Bank, the Atwater Village Neighborhood Council, and LA Works. He also teaches English to Syrian war refugees. Thank you, Pedro and John, for all you do for Cal State Long Beach and for your communities. Staff contributions make it possible for our campus to be a place where learning, research, mentoring, and creative activity can flourish. And inspired human resources to implement a revitalized staff employee recognition program two years ago. As a result, we now have a more timely and inclusive employee of the month selection process. The program was paused at one point during the pandemic, so there are fewer names to share with you than usual. But I'm glad to report that as of January 2021, the Employee of the Month program is back to celebrating the contributions of staff employees whose service, professionalism, performance, and leadership exemplify the university's mission, values, and strategic priorities. And now I'd like to thank and congratulate all of the individuals who were selected as Employees of the Month during 2019 and 2020. Brian Thornson, who was recognized in June 2019, is a botany tech and a botanical curator in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. His duties include cultivating and caring for one of our most fascinating campus residents, the famed corpse flower. Lindsay Sarver, who was recognized in July 2019, is an internship program coordinator in the College of Business. She has, among other things, played an important role in the successful expansion of the Student Center for Professional Development. Kristen Gazdick, who was recognized in August 2019, is an academic advisor in the College of Health and Human Services. Her appreciative colleagues and advisees describe her as the epitome of support for student success. Evelyn Klaus was recognized in September 2019 for going above and beyond to ensure the success of the Feed a Need campaign and the Basic Needs Program while serving as a Basic Needs Coordinator in the Division of Student Affairs. Rafaela Corral, who was recognized in October 2019, is a lead custodian in the Department of Housing and Residential Life. She was commended for contributing to a culture of respect and compassion, for serving as a positive role model, and for reaching out to students. Lindsay Harrison was working as a coordinator of supplemental instruction when she was recognized in November 2019 for her inspiring service as a mentor, role model, and fierce advocate for students in the supplemental instruction program. Marina Crawford, who was recognized in December 2019, is described as an exemplary employee who puts forth exceptional effort in all of her numerous and varied responsibilities as a first-year experience coordinator for the Engineering Student Success Center. And Sal Alanis, who was recognized in January 2020, is the lead groundskeeper for Parking Landscape Services. He is admired for his positive attitude and for developing and motivating a team that shares his commitment to providing high quality work and service. Once again, I want to personally thank and congratulate each of our employees of the month. Your extraordinary contributions to the university are deeply appreciated by the entire Beach family. Before I move on to the President's Awards for the Staff Employees of the Year and the Team Achievement Award, I'd like to say just a few words about the selection process. As you may know, it works much like the Employee of the Month process, with all the Best of the Beach staff nominations submitted during the prior calendar year in the running for, those for the annual awards. Additionally, in March, the campus community submitted specific nominations for these particular awards. All were then reviewed by a campus staff recognition committee. In selecting our employees of the year, I was faced with a big challenge. That is singling out a few individuals from a large pool of very impressive nominees. It's certainly a good problem to have, but I do want to emphasize 
that these were very difficult decisions. Our nominees were all quite worthy and deserving, and I truly enjoyed learning about each and every one of them. I'll begin with the Inclusive Excellence Award, which recognizes an employee who has made a significant contribution in fostering an inclusive culture of respect, collegiality, and civility. Our 2021 honoree is Christina Ramos, who serves as the Education and Outreach Coordinator for the Carpenter Performing Arts Center. After the death of George Floyd, Christina volunteered to research, organize, and lead a weekly in-depth discussion on what it means to be anti-racist. She ended up leading 25 consecutive weeks of these discussions and has created an extensive anti-racism resource page on the CPAC website. This is just one example of the community building Christina has been doing as a staff member and even before while she was still a grad student in our theater arts program. Next is the Innovation Award, which recognizes an employee who has made a significant contribution in innovating the delivery of services to the campus community and whose efforts reflect the university's core values of excellence, integrity, service, creativity, and innovation. Our 2021 honoree is Alexandria Pan, who serves as the Outreach Coordinator for Counseling and Psychological Services, as well as the Program Director for Project Ocean. Alexandria's innovative approaches to the delivery of mental health education and awareness have contributed to the development of a phenomenally effective programming aimed at reducing mental health stigma on our campus. Over the past 14 months, as our students dealt with unprecedented academic and socio-political stressors, Alexandria saw the need and took action, helping to dramatically increase and revamp the social media presence and offerings for both CAPS and Project Ocean. Now for our Leadership Award, which recognizes an employee who has made a significant contribution in providing high quality leadership and whose efforts reflect the university's core values of excellence, integrity, and service. Our 2021 honoree is Shirley Kwan, who serves as the Technology Help Desk Manager, providing IT support to all members of the campus community, and essentially to anyone who visits or calls our campus help looking for IT help. This is an unimaginably difficult job during the best of times, but Shirley and her team shined even more brightly when the pandemic hit, stepping up to ensure that replies continued to be consistent, timely, and accurate, and that there was no drop-off in call answer rates or in customer satisfaction. As the campus shifted to a mostly remote environment, Shirley and her team also had to become instant experts on services like Zoom, Global Protect, VPN, and Remote Desktop. Quite a feat, indeed. Next is our Student Success Award, which recognizes an employee who has made a significant contribution in support of the university's core mission of providing excellent, highly valued educational opportunities. Our 2021 honoree is Michelle Giffen, who serves as an instructional support technician in the Department of Biological Sciences. Michelle has always been dedicated to providing excellent and inclusive educational support. But when our introductory biology classes had to transition to a virtual format, Michelle went above and beyond to ensure that students were set up for success. For example, Michelle took it upon herself to learn video editing, production, and closed captioning so she could provide students with how-to videos for experiments and equipment training. And I think we can all be grateful to Michelle for her efforts to find, clean, and test the ultra-low temperature freezer that is now being used to store Pfizer vaccines. Finally, we have the Team Achievement Award which recognizes a team that collaborated on a significant project that had a positive impact on university operations and benefited a major sector of the university. I'm pleased to announce that we have two awardees, a tie this year. The selection of academic technology services and student health services is a reflection of the extraordinary and complementary importance of both health and academic success over the past 14 months. As most of you know, from the first day of the stay-at-home order, 
the ATS team leaped into action, putting classes online, answering access questions for students, helping staff transition to the virtual workspace, and performing countless other services and upgrades to keep us all safely learning, teaching, exploring, and working. Also a clear standout, Student Health Services has been supporting students, staff, and faculty throughout the pandemic. The team's most stunning accomplishment was, of course, the vaccine clinic. The first of its kind in the CSU system, the clinic has garnered praise from every corner of the campus, from local leaders, and even from the governor of California. Congratulations, once again, to all our awardees and nominees. You have all done heroic work over the past year, and I know I speak for the entire campus when I say thank you for your dedication to the beach and for a job exceedingly well done. We are a healthier, stronger, more inclusive, innovative, productive, and collegial institution because of your invaluable contributions. On behalf of the administration, I want to thank all of you for your many years of service to our university. And thanks to our staff council outstanding staff members. 2019 and 2020 Employees of the Month, Presence Award winners, and Team Achievement Award winners for your significant contributions and commitment to our campus. We continue to educate, uplift our community, and change lives because of your dedication. Thank you, and go Beach. <laughs>